In 1899, Cyclone Mahina hit the eastern coast of Cape York Peninsula near Bathurst Bay at the southern end of Princess Charlotte Bay. While Cyclone Tracy, which hit Darwin in 1974, is arguably the most destructive cyclone in modern Australian history, Cyclone Mahina caused the largest loss of life of any cyclone to date and has been called the greatest of all cyclones. Bathurst Bay was a safe haven for the pearling industry. Pearl shells were used for making buttons. On 3rd of March 1899, two meteorologists from different parts of Australia saw some severe weather developing around New Guinea, but they did not think their meteorograph showed any danger to Queensland. Prior to the invention of radio, the only form of weather warning communication was newspapers, but getting these to isolated areas swiftly was difficult. Cyclone Mahina is believed to have had an intensity equal to a Category 5 storm. The Pearling Lugger fleet did not have any accurate wind measuring devices, so sailors at the time used the Beaufort wind scale to estimate wind velocity. The lowest recorded central pressure for Cyclone Mahina was 914 hectopascals. On the night of the 4th of March 1899, a fleet of about 100 pearling vessels was at anchor in Bathurst Bay. When Cyclone Mahina hit, boats were driven onto the Great Barrier Reef, nearby islands and onto the mainland coast. Many of the vessels were lost, along with their crews. Survivors reported weather like a monsoon and from the south, torrential rain, lightning and thunder with wind gusts from 225 to over 280 kilometres per hour. It was reported that a 13 to 15 metre storm surge travelled about five kilometres inland, destroying the Bathurst Bay settlement and a large amount of the Pearling fleet. The final death toll of around 400 people included at least 100 Indigenous Australians some dying trying to help shipwrecked men. After the cyclone passed, assistance was slow in coming. On the 8th of March, the Japanese steamer Kasugu Maru arrived at the scene of devastation and later passed on news of the need for further assistance when it reached Townsville. On 11th of March, the White Star found Tatawa, Olive, Aladdin and 50 other luggers at anchor. The White Star and other steamers anchored for the night and distributed stores to 40 survivors camped on the shore. Arrangements were made to transport these people to Thursday Island. There were also reports of approximately 30 bodies being buried with the assistance of some local Aboriginal people. Cyclone Mahina continued southwest over Cape York Peninsula, emerged over the Gulf of Carpentaria before heading east and dissipating. <laughs>